Welcome to Mike Brown Barbecue. Today, I'm going to show you how I smoke fry tip on this 250 gallon offset smoker. Stay All tuned. Right, guys, what we got here is an HEB Prime One tri tip, about three pounds. We're going to get her opened up. And that tri tip right there has got some beautiful marbling in it. I'm going to clean this side up a little bit get some of the excess fat off of it just down the sides so I can see exactly how much fat cap I got silver skin right here some of that right there and more silver skin right here that I completely missed Let me sharpen my knives I got this little knob sticking off right here. I'm just going to go ahead and square this off so it cooks evenly. And look, beautiful marbling in this tri tip. It's going to be good. There's no rhyme or reason really around my trim on this. We're going to cook this like a steak anyway. I'm not going to get too crazy, but you do have a pretty good fat cap on these tri tips that you got to trim down. But just appreciate the marbling that's in this, man. I don't take the fat cap all the way off on my tri tips. I like to crisp the fat, but I do trim it down quite a bit. I will leave some fat. That's flavor, in my humble opinion. What I like to do is trim my fat down to roughly about like an eighth inch. And this is really soft pillowy fat. It's not hard fat that's not good to eat. Just about all the trimming. I think I'm going to do to this today. That's looking pretty good to me. Beautiful tri tip. Got lots of marbling. Definitely prime grade tri tip right there. Look at the marbling in that. This is going to be good. So you'll notice tri tip's got two different grains right here. Hence the why it's called a tri tip. It's got a grain that runs that way and a grain that runs this way right here. So you got to take note of that when you get ready to slice. What we're going to season this with today, and again, y'all know I don't use no binders. Bonders Fiesta steak seasoning. But first, we're going to hit it with 16 mesh black pepper, also bondless. Me, I like a heavy coat of pepper. Always have, always will. It's Texas. But to bond their season all, 
I mean, the, a bondler steak seasoning's got enough in it where you really don't have to add pepper if you don't want to. It's got a very good flavor. And we're going to season this up very heavily. It's a thick piece of meat. Pat it in and flip it over. Do the other side. Our presentation side. Now I've cooked tri-tip before a few different ways and the best way that I've found to do it is a reverse sear but I'm going to do my reverse sear a little bit different today than what I normally do it. We'll sh I'll show you guys how I do that when we get to it. Leave it a little bit of a surprise. So get your sides. And we're going to call that good. What we're going to do is we'll get ready to put this on here in a few hours. I'm not going to put it on right now. We'll let this drive down in the refrigerator till then. I'll smoke it to an internal temp of about 120, 115. And then after that, I'll show you what I'm going to do next. This is Texas style tri-tip, the way Mike Brown barbecue does it. That being said, right, guys, safe. so our tri tip's been sitting in the fridge and dry brining for about four hours. I just finished up some ribs. We'll go ahead and we'll start this cook. And that is what our tri tip is looking like. I'm going to stick it right here in the middle and put this thick side towards the fire, scrunch it up. What I'm going to do with this is let it cook for about an hour and a half until it reaches the internal temp of 120 then we'll pull it off and we'll sear it. With that being said I gotta take my existing fire and smash it down into a coal bed and I'll show you which wood we're gonna use for the smoke. Stay tuned. Alright guys it's time to throw us some wood on. This is what's left of my last cook. Get this smashed down. It's a very good coal bed. Very big cold bed, which is good. That tri tip's not a real big piece of meat. So we'll go on with some pecan. I'm just feeling like using pecan today. The one right there. We'll put this big, dense, barky piece right there. With as hot as that cold bed is. That right there will probably carry us to the end of our internal temp cook right there. This uh, pecan smoke will provide a real rich flavor to that tri-tip. It's going to be good. So we got that on there. It's starting to take off. I'm going to go ahead and close this down and let it do its thing. And next time you guys see me will be either when we manage this fire or our tri-tip hits an internal temp of 120. Stay tuned. All right, guys, we've been running about an hour and a half, just a little bit over at 275. On this tri tip, I got a feeling we should be close to our 120 internal temp, but we shall see. It's definitely got some good color going to it. We're going to come right here in the middle. We're at 118 in the thinner part. So we're at 129 over here on this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this and let it rest as a pole for a minute. We're going to take it. Wrap it up in this fold. And I'm going to let it rest over here on the table while I get my coals set up for the searing. By that time, the whole thing will be carried over to about 120 internal temp. So the next time you guys see me, when we get ready to sear this thing off, stay tuned. All right, folks, so to finish this off, I'm going to do it on my charcoal chimney. I'm going to take and get some coals. my firebox.
shake the dust down a little bit. I've got a grate off another grill that I like to use. We'll let it get hot. I was going to reverse sear this on my smoker, but I didn't feel like wasting three or four more pieces of wood. So this is the next best thing you can do right here. And it's hot. We're going to go meat side down with this first. And let it sear. We'll go about three minutes per side. I don't know if you can hear it sizzling on camera, but it's definitely sizzling. Oh yeah, we're getting that good flame on it now. That's what you want. To me, this is the best way to cook a tri-tip. I've tried it like brisket, and I've tried it a couple different ways. We're smoking it and reverse searing it. Yields the best results. Go ahead and turn this a little bit. Let this side catch some of that flame. And then we'll finish it off on this fat cap side. The reason I left this fat on is I want to get this fat really, really crispy. Not burnt, but crispy. And it's getting a good flame kiss on it right there. That's what you want. You can hear it sizzling. Y'all hear that sizzling? Oh yeah. Now we'll flip it around. To the fat side. Boy, and look at that char we got on there. Look at that. That is beautiful. That is what you want. Let me zoom in and give you a close up of that. Will you just look at it? Just look at it. We're getting that good sear on there. That's how you need it. We'll rotate this just like that. Fat's crisping up nice and neat. We'll keep rotating it and turning it. Ooh, and we got some char on that fat, guys. That's what I wanted. I wanted to get that good and crisp, just like that. And no, it's not burnt. It's just charred. There's a difference between burnt. Get these sides real good. Oh yes, this is going to be awesome. Get the side charred up real good here. Judging by how firm it is, I think I'm going to call that good, but we'll check the internal temp in it right quick. We're almost a medium rare. And I'm going to call that good, folks. Next time you guys see this, we'll be when we slice it. Stay tuned. All right, folks. So we've let this tri tip rest for about 20 minutes. It's time to get her sliced up. As I said before, there's two grains in tri tip. You got one grain running this way, and you got one grain running that way. That being said, we'll turn this this way, and we'll cut some off of here, off this side. You just go with the grain, just like that. We'll take this dude right here, and that's what we got right there juicy, perfect, medium rare. Right there, look how juicy that is.
and we'll come right here on this side and we'll cut some off of this end. Just like that. I'll pull one from this side right here. And this side's a little bit more done than what I like. That's more of a medium to medium well. But still, nonetheless, it's good. So let's get the camera set up for a taste test. All right, so we got the camera flipped around for a taste test. We're going to start with this end right here. That's what that's looking like. Nice and juicy. Let's see how we did. Mm-hmm. Mm. Got that direct heat flavor. The fat on the bottom is rendered and uh, crispy. You can taste the pecan smoke while we cold smoked it in the background. Mmm. Man, no. it's a very tasty piece of meat. All right, we'll come over here and we'll try one from this side. And you can see the marbling that's in this still. Some good marbling right there. Juicy, tender. It's going to be good. Let's take a bite. Mm. Some mighty fine eating right there. Man, that's good. That's so good. That fat on the bottom is my favorite part. That's tender. Damn near, damn near melts in your mouth. You taste the steak seasoning, the black pepper. All in all, this cook was definitely a success. All right, so we'll do a quick recap of the cook. Nothing complicated about this. It was just a tri-tip. Season it with 16 mesh coarse pepper. Bondler steak seasoning. Then we threw it on the smoker. Smoked it for an hour and a half with nothing but pecan at about 250, 275. Got it up to an internal temp of 120, 115. And then we took it over to our charcoal chimney, robbed some coals out of the firebox, and gave it a good sear, and then let it rest for about 15, 20 minutes right here on the cutting board. And uh, then we sliced it up, and the rest is history. I mean, this is awesome. I'll definitely be cooking another one of these again. I've only cooked tri-tip two other times. One, I did a video, Trisket versus tri-tip. Tri like a steak and uh, those were some really cheap tri tips had no marbling in them the one like a steak was good the one that i did like a brisket was okay it didn't knock my socks off and then i got another prime tri tip off camera here a while back and did it like a brisket and i didn't like it but this one right here that one's money that one tastes awesome i mean just just look at it just look at Look at that. Look at that. Mm. All right, folks. Well, that's it. Let me know what you want to cook next. Hit that like and subscribe button if you like this video. And uh, we'll be on the live here soon. You can jump in on that. And pick my brain if you want to. But until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Peace.